So we're gonna go look for a sandwich place. Yo. You find something? Yes. And? <gasps> what is this? Flaming hot. Yo. Yes. Should we try something different? Juice? No. What do you want? Do you worry about yourself, sweetheart? I'm trying to get like the green Miranda. It's right here. Things. I've never tried that. Oh, what does it look like? Okay, it is apple. <laughs> look at the variety. So we got two chips, two drinks, and just this. $22. And this was $22. How much is that? 300 Egyptian pounds, 300, right? I, I paid 360 Egyptian pounds. Such a scam ripoff over here. I paid, I filled up the whole tank of gas for 250 pounds. And right inside, it, they charged us for two chips and two drinks. Uh, we're also gonna cancel on the sandwich. I'm pretty sure we can find a cheaper alternative because this, the pricing is just ridiculous. It's retarded. It's retarded expensive. Even in Canada, it's not this much. This is the place. Usually when we go to a proper restaurant for three people and we're eating good, it's 400 Egyptian pounds. We are trying to find at the church, St. Catherine's Church, and we're just rerouting. It's very hard to find. The GPS is telling us to go one way, but on the locals, there are so many border points. And at one point, they tried to take our passport. I'm pretty sure we were at the long, wrong location. We're currently trying to find this church that's not on the GPS. Yeah. And these are the roads. So you can only imagine. Do you speak English? English? Yeah. No? Do you know how can I get here? Monastery? This is the struggle. Yeah. It's straight? Aha! See my senses, man. You gotta trust. You gotta trust my GPS senses. No. Maybe you have to go through this big fancy gate. I have no idea. So the whole hiking, a mountain adventure, I don't think that's gonna be possible because at one of our checkpoints, the guy said that it's closed. I don't know if it's due to COVID, um, I don't know. So we're, we're like four hours in. Okay, so we finally made it to Mount Sinai. 
or some people call them Mount Moses. And, and we have what three more hours walk? Yeah, two to, to three go. hours to go. But this is the view. Look at these mountains. And this is where Moses got his Ten Commandments. Moses, Moses? Yeah. You see this mountain? Uh huh. Behind. Behind it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is behind these mountains. There's a cool little hut. It's garden from monastery. What is that? Garden, garden. Garden? Oh, garden. Yeah, garden. Oh cool, I think those are pomegranates. Are those pomegranates? Yeah. Yeah, pomegranates. <laughs> nice. Let me catch it. <laughs> I have tiny legs. This monastery open 9 o'clock. Close okay. 12. Oh, okay. But today close. And oh. tomorrow close. Round two. I didn't like the first one. I know you can do a much better job. I'm trying. Right. Look, I have a kitty. Is this too zoomed in? Where are the camels? We're coming? Yeah. No, I just want to look at a camel. Go oh, coming. Here, 200 camels. Really? 200 no, camels? Every day here. But now, because no tourists, small tourists, it was a virus, you know? There's a puppy. Monk that used to live up there. Where? You see like their house is right yeah. up top? Yeah, Way okay. up top? Yeah. There's a monk who used to live there. Yes. How did he get food? He's too old now. Is he still up there? No, he left. He's uh, what if you run out of food? Well, well you have two big ones. Take them food and back. Uh, okay. You got to up and down mountain. Yes. No McDonald's. No. <laughs> I record this. The smoking where Moses walked once. Don't say that. <laughs> We're gonna get cancelled. This is a long hike. Hello. Are you gonna go on this hike with us? Can you come another country? Yeah. Okay. Can like, I? Uh, like gypsy? Oh. Yeah. Like, you know what gypsy is? Traveler? So about 200 camels and 100 people used to come here every day. From Quran, yeah. And right now, okay. it's just the America. two of us because of COVID. So, that's kind of sad, but in a way it's a plus for us. So we made it kind of halfway point. Uh, the mountain behind me is where Moses got his uh, This whole trail over here is called the uh, Camel Trail. Pretty nice spot to chill out, take some pictures. This cat has been following us since the monastery. Yes. I think we're uh, his humans now. We're back on our trail. Yeah. After taking our break. How long is the trail? About three miles altogether. Are we halfway there? All of my fears. So we got Medina so burnt out. <laughs> That we had to Uber a camel for her. So now we Ubered a camel. I'm scared. And the mountain. So she can get on the camel. Come to see the mountain. Can he go? 
can he go and see sunset and come back from the mountain? Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Why do you make me do things? No problem. <laughs> Camel's nice. Well, if you don't get on the camel, on the trail of camels, you haven't experienced the real thing, so... Look at the view, isn't it beautiful? I'm not made for walking. We have to go all the way up to that mountain. Kyle is still walking on foot. There was only one camel and you know, I'm a princess and I literally tried. I tried to walk. I'm just not made for walking, like my beard is too low. And Kyle is way over there. So I'm off of the camel and I'm just waiting for Kyle. There goes the camel. There goes the camel. I'm just waiting here now for Kyle to come on foot, poor thing. So we can go on foot on top of the mountain there. This is the trail. Goes all the way on the other side of the mountain. So someone was calling me a baby for getting on the camel. And look at this. Look at this man. Three hours in. This man's done. I'm done. But we made it. Is that the top? Yeah. Yay. Oh my God. And we have to go all the way down. So three more hours. Is that the cave? No, it's tough to go. Oh, Jesus. Came from all the way down there. So, we finally made it kind of to the top and we're burnt out completely just to get this view behind us. It's magical. I don't know if it was worth it. You guys can let us know in the comments. But it is freezing cold up here. Yeah. It's a gorgeous view though.